Hi, my name is Mike McCoy, WD4AM from Lenore, North Carolina. Another video. Recently, yesterday, back from the Shelby Dallas Hound Fest, I would like to show you some of the vintage AM equipment that I purchased. Over here, I picked up a Viking Ranger 2. Now, I will restore this transmitter and give you a later vid video later on on the progress of restoring this transmitter. Consists of two 6146s and the final modulator is by 807. But the gentleman I bought this transmitter from indicated that he utilizing a different modulation tube. And I don't know what it is yet until I get into the transmitter. Over here is a HT37 Helicrafter sideband transmitter good for about 25-30 watts of AM excellent old boat anchor for a backup and will be a collector one day and over here picked up a nice vintage microphone and a good VFO knot I can utilize that either with the Ranger now the special find that I found for all you military folks is the ART-13. These transmitters was built in the 40s. Was in B-17s, B-29 bombers. Now this one is not original ART-13. As you know, it has been downsized and put into a new self-contained box. As you can see, the 811As, the 813, Pi Network, Oscillator, the Transformer, and a solid state this transmitter over here to the right. Now I have no documentation on this. Right now I got it tore down. I'm changing the mic input circuit. As you see the new relays, the new wiring. Whoever built this has been recently and done a great job. And the meters on the front. Antenna current, grid and plate current. And they added the input and output SO239 connectors. Come over here on this area. Also your low voltage, high voltage switch. And what I like about it, they installed a good fan right in behind here for a cooling system. And as the 120 volts go into the power supply connecting an octave plug. Now, I'm going to change out this old connector here, input connector, to another one. It would fit a ordinary one four phono jack. Let me fire this thing up here temporary. Are you ready? A one, a two, a three. And as you see, she's lightening up. There's the 811A, the 813. You hear the fan of running. And once I get this transmitter modified and figure it out, I have the original manual for the old ART-13 to hook a VFO to this transmitter. It should take off if the plate supply is still good. And I took measurements on that, and it is. Let me cut it off now. So this is very interesting. It's, it's detailed work on this. Taking out big ART-13 and take the parts out and made it self-contained and closed, got a nice lid on it as you can see and hopefully I get this up running just a few modifications and a little bit more documentations sometimes when you go to a ham fest as long as I've been in amateur radio I have shotgun and troubleshoot many of transmitters without manuals usually you can get the download but this has been the gentleman that built this in Tennessee I'm trying to get in touch with him and I believe the VFO connection for this ART-13 is this phono plug back here when I get more time I will experiment and keep you informed and after we get this one done we're going over to the Viking refinish the cabinet replace all the capacitors on the nice Viking Ranger 2 
Of course, HT37 Helder Crafter is in beautiful shape. I fired it up and it works great. Once again, this is Mike McCoy, WD4AM in Lenore, North Carolina, saying 73s with more projects and more unusual antique radio equipment. 73s.